Good morning. Thanks for joining us for our Christmas devotion. You know, one of my favorite Christmas carols is the, the great classic by Charles Wesley, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. And in the second line of that song, it says, Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Every time I sing that song, a new line pops out, but one that continually pops out is that God and sinners reconciled. First, you may wonder, what does it mean to be reconciled? And it, it's the simplest level is for um, a relationship to be made right. You see, um, as the Bible talks about, God is holy. He is perfect. He is righteous. Uh, perfect in all his ways. He's wonderful. And the Bible says about us that we have a, a big problem, that we're sinners by birth, by nature, and by choice. You see, we have a great need to be reconciled with God because God says he can't even look upon sin. But I'm so thankful that in Christmas, Jesus came. He came and he was born in a manger. God intervened into history. He's born in a manger. He lived a sinless life. He died on a cross and he rose again so that we might be reconciled with God, that his enemies could be his friends. Romans 5.10 says this. Listen to this. It says, For if while we were enemies... We were reconciled to God by the death of his son. Much more, now that we have been reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. I pray that if you have not trusted in Jesus, if you have not repented of your sins and trusted in Jesus and been reconciled with God, you do that this Christmas. Receive that greatest gift. And for those of us that have, that we'd be about the ministry of reconciliation by telling others about how they can be reconciled with God. Merry Christmas.